Well, let's get the latest on this from journalists across the region. Joining us now is Akram al Satari in Gaza, Nick Kaliokin in Israel, Shahira Amin in the Egyptian capital Cairo, and last but not least, Mohammed Najib in the West Bank city of Ramallah. Thank you very much for joining us, all of you. Now, Nick, we're going to start off with you. Um, the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, is you know, convening this special cabinet uh, meetings today on that potential truce. Um, are there any updates on what's been happening? Yeah, most of the Israeli government uh, will agree on this deal, but just the right wing will be opposed to it and will be against it because uh, they believe now it's a time to destroy Hamas and not a time for a truce because if now the Israeli army will stop, it's not sure that it will be able to continue the operation as it is doing until now. And also there are some voices that saying if now the children and mothers and foreign citizens will come back to Israel, it will be much harder to do a further deal to release the Israeli uh, hostages because uh, they, some of them was in the army and others maybe they, they don't have such a hard touching story as babies, children, grandparents. So that's why many families of the hostages, they want all the hostages, 240, be back home altogether. But anyway, the Israeli government will agree to this deal tonight. This is uh, what many people believe in. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's still no reports, Nick, of the results of any negotiations. It's all very hush-hush. But you can imagine that one of the main sticking points uh, is the situation surrounding the hostages and the exchange of, of prisoners. It must be very difficult to reach consensus on that. Yeah, it's probably it's uh, very, very hard because uh, there are a lot of dilemmas. Uh, many believe that maybe now, if we will continue to pressure on Hamas, they will agree after that to much better deal for Israel. Others think if we will uh, just uh, release now uh, the uh, hostages, uh, after that, Ham uh, Israeli army wouldn't be able to destroy Hamas. And uh, there are so many different voices, and the Israeli government, they're confused. They are not sure what to do, because in the beginning, they just wanted to destroy Hamas and on the way to release the hostages. After that, uh, the Israeli public was so outrageous because of those uh, families that they are so demanding their relatives back home. So the government changed its uh, plans in Gaza Strip, and now they are... Um, in a difficult situation, so I'm not sure what they will do in the end, but at least the children and the mothers probably will be back home to Israel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thanks, Nick. Uh, the, the whole world is also waiting with bated breath for any news of this potential truce. Um, Akram al Satari in Gaza, Nick Kalyakin in Israel, Shahira Amin in the Egyptian capital Cairo, and Mohammed Najib in the West Bank city of Ramallah. Thank you all very much for your time and your thoughts today here on RT.